Can you see that? It is 24 degrees out here this morning. Um, it is officially winter here in Michigan. We're lucky that all of our snow melted. We actually just had a foot of snow um, like a week ago, but we had a couple really warm days, which was really nice, but it looks like the cold is back. So I'm going to put some sugar on the bees today um, because since my hives are a little light, they're going to need some food stores for the winter time. So I'm going to put some shims on top with um, a layer of sugar on top of all the frames and yeah, they'll be all good to go. It's so quiet out here in the winter time. Oh. I don't know about you, but lately I've been really missing my bees. There's just something about cracking open a hive and smelling that fresh new smell of comb and hearing all of the bees just buzzing around you that I just can't get enough of and I feel so incomplete without them right now. But I am super excited for spring because I know they're going to come out looking strong and healthy and I hope that yours do too. So today I am putting sugar on all of my hives. Like I said, they are really light, um, so they're definitely going to be needing me to be putting on sugar probably at least once a month throughout the winter time. Um, I'll be checking just to see how often I'm going need to need to do that and how quickly they're eating all the sugar. But it's super simple and super easy. All I'm doing is just putting sugar in a big mixing bowl. I'm not really measuring it, um, just using the measuring cup because that was the biggest um, like scooping container that I had that I could use. So yeah, just put all the sugar in a mixing bowl and then get yourself some water and pour in just a little bit, not too much. And then I take a fork and I'm stirring it all around um, until it comes to what looks like a sand-like consistency. You can make it a little bit more wet if you'd like to. Um, but the main reason why I'm adding water is because bees will not use sugar unless there is moisture in the sugar. Otherwise, it's just not usable for them. And usually in the summertime, they're able to leave the hive and go out and find water so that they can moisten any sugar if you were to put sugar in there. Um, but right now they can't do that. So they're going to have to get moisture on their own, whether that be from the walls of the hive um, when the cold on the outside clashes with the hot on the inside. That can create condensation on the walls and this is okay. They need that so that they can get water. But I'm mainly just adding water just to kind of help them just in case they can't get enough water in order to moisten this. Um, I think this is why some people have like a hit or miss with the mountain camp method of just adding dry sugar onto their hives. Some people say it works great, other people say it doesn't because they can't use it. So it just depends on whether your bees can get water or not. So I just do it as a safety precaution. They're already at the top. Oh, shoot. They're not gonna like this. <laughs> now, I was not expecting the bees to be already at the top of this box, um, especially because it's December. So this is not a good thing to see. When you see your bees are at the very top of the hive, that means they've already used up all of the honey or food stores that they had through the rest of the hive. Because in the winter time, the cluster is going to move up through the hive as it eats any sugar um, that you have in there or any honey and food stores that they have. So yeah, you see how there's that really big cluster at the top? Yeah, this hive definitely, I'm going to have to be feeding like crazy. Um, yeah, this was a mistake on my part. You guys all know I made a lot of splits this year, took a lot of risks, but I'll be feeding so hopefully they'll still be able to make it through the winter. Um, fine and healthy. But next, all I'm doing is putting on this wooden shim that I made for these hives. Um, this is so that it gives a little bit of headroom for the sugar so that I can still fit on my insulation foam and the lid without there being any gaps. So I put this newspaper down um, mainly just so that the sugar does not fall between the frames and just create a giant mess for the bees. Um, and then I'm going to cut some slits into this newspaper as well so that the bees can get up into the sugar and start eating it. Um, they can chew through newspaper, but it's, I just figured it'd be a little bit easier if they can already get up into the sugar so that way that they know it's there um, 
yeah so next plain and simple just stack that sugar right on top of that hive and then um, spread it all out you can put it all on one side if you want to you don't have to spread it all the way out like I did here um, I tried a couple different ways across all of my hives for how I put the sugar on there but yeah just spread it all out make sure that you poke some holes so that the bees can get up into the sugar um, that's what I'm doing here. I'm kind of peeling back the newspaper so that the bees can crawl up there and you can see one of the bees actually flew out because it's like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you poking me? <laughs> um, so yeah, super simple. See, like I said, um, I decided part way through this that maybe I don't want to have it all just kind of like spread out like that. So because the bees are not going to be able to move that much when it gets really cold in the hive. They're just going to try to like stay in one spot. And if they do move, it'll be very, very like slowly and they won't go far. So right now the cluster is all the way on that left side. So that's why I'm kind of trying to stack it over there so that it will be easier for them to access when it gets very cold. Then I'm just throwing on this insulation foam that I'm using to help insulate the hives from the cold top from clashing from the hot on the inside. Now, because I added the sugar like I did, having that insulation foam is not necessary. I've just always used it because it does help um, prevent condensation from collecting underneath the lid and then dropping, dripping on the cluster and possibly killing or freezing any of the bees. But if you add sugar the way I did, the reason why it's not necessary to have that insulation foam underneath the lid is if there's any moisture that does collect, then you're kind of killing two birds with one stone in that the sugar is going to absorb that moisture so that it doesn't drip on the bees. But also, that is how your sugar is going to get moisture so the bees can consume it. So just kind of like a little hack there. You don't have to have insulation foam, but like I said, I'm just doing that this year. So this is my first year overwintering in just single deeps like this. I've always usually done two deeps. So I'm a little nervous to see how these go, but as long as they're fed well, then they're going to do okay. And yeah, like you, you can see in this one, um, definitely low on food because they're at the very tops of the frames like that and kind of like in a ball on top of the frames. So it's a good thing that I'm adding sugar now. And for this one, I decided just to go with like a little half piece of newspaper because like I said, I feel like it is wiser to put all the sugar on one side of the hive, um, preferably the side that they're already on just so that they don't have to move as much throughout the hive to find that food source. So this way it's right above them. They can access, ex ugh, <laughs> they can access it whenever they need it. So since I made these shims myself, I was not able to put an upper entrance in them. Um, I didn't have the tool that I needed to be able to do that. So we're going to see how this goes this year. I've usually always had an upper entrance for my colonies, um, just in case like the snow gets too high and they can't get out that bottom entrance or if it becomes clogged up with dead bees. So this is just something that I'm going to have to keep an eye on. But I do have entrance reducers on all of my colonies. And this is why um, if you go back and you saw the entrance reducers that I had in, I had the longer version in. It's like the three inch entrance. Um, that way they have plenty of room and are able to get adequate airflow through the hive when needed. Um, I'm not really a fan of like the little teeny tiny bee door uh, side of the entrance reducers. That's just like a little one inch en entrance because I find that it gets clogged up with dead bees really easily in the winter time and then they can't leave the hive and that becomes a really big issue. So let's skip ahead to my nukes. Um, I have them all stacked on a large pallet all stacked as close together as I can possibly get them so that they can all kind of share warmth and share heat um, like through the walls of each hive since they are so small. But just doing this the exact same as I did the other ones. Um, this one just less sugar of course since they're smaller hives. But trying to make sure that the bees are going to be able to crawl up onto this newspaper on either side of them. That's why I just have this little piece and I'm just putting it in a big pile right there in the center.
So it's looking like I'm going to need one more bag of sugar to finish the rest of them, but it is as simple as that. Now they're fed. Um, I'm going to be checking up on them. Uh, I'll probably check up, check up on them again um, around Christmas time and then assess from there to see how quickly they're going through the sugar. Um, and they will tell me how often I need to be adding it, but yeah, I got to run off because I'm actually running late. I have practice and so yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys soon. But real quick before you go, I do just want to say thank you so much to everybody who reached out to me about my last video. It really blows my mind how much love and support you all showed me. And this truly is a family that we are creating. So my heart reaches out to each and every one of you. And I hope that B Winter is treating you well and you are staying warm because <laughs> it's actually snowing here right now in Michigan. So, but anyways. I'll see you guys soon.